I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. I have some fantastic friends here on YouTube. I have Hannah down in Australia and I have Miley over on the West Coast. And unexpectedly, in the last year, people have been so incredibly generous to me. Hannah has sent me a gift, Miley sent me a gift, and other YouTubers out there have also sent me some goodies, and I am so grateful I did not ask for any of this, and you guys just have the most amazing, beautiful, generous hearts. So, um, Miley said she was sending me a box, actually two boxes, beautiful card, she's so sweet, and I really do appreciate your friendship, and this was totally unexpected. Um, but I wanted to share this, like, epic gift haul she sent me. Um, and there's more sitting on my table right here that was in the second box that doesn't even fit in here. So, I figure we will start with, I don't even know where. Uh, we're gonna start with this first. So, she sent me this bag of, like, giant, giant bag of samples. Because her and I were actually talking about maybe starting a series. And I want to see if Hannah wants to get involved too. And we were thinking about doing like 60 second sample reviews um, because we have all these darn samples and you know, a lot of times we never get around to really using them and they just sit there forever. So I thought it might be a fun way to test these out and use them up. So she sent me a whole ton because she had a ton and I left a ton of mine in California. So uh, yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> thank you for my samples, Miley. And genuinely, thank you for everything that's in the box and everything that anyone else has ever sent me. I'm so eternally grateful. You have no work. You have no idea. I'm beyond words with how grateful I am for anything that anyone ever does for me. Leaves a kind comment, sends me a tweet, says hi to me on Instagram. All of those things make my day just, they seriously bring smiles to my face every day. You guys have no idea. So, um, she sent me some brushes because she knows I love, love, love my elf brushes. These are the studio brushes. So she sent me a small smudge brush an angled contour brush, two eyeshadow C's, C brushes, a contour brush, and a large stipple brush. I don't know where that is right now, but there's also a large stipple brush. She also sent me a pack of some Snoopy Kleenexes. She says that this is for anyone who wants to break my heart, but I won't be needing all these because that's not going to happen. Then she sent me a pack of some cosmetic uh, sponges. These are the kind of like disposable ones, the little wedge ones which is fantastic because I also left these in California with most of the stuff that I have there. So thank you. That's so sweet of you. And then she sent me some Super Berries uh, Antioxidant Deep Cleansing Facial Wipes. She says that she likes to use these like in the morning just to kind of refresh her face. And these smell delicious. I already kind of opened them up a little and they really do smell like blueberry heaven, but not like overwhelming. So, and this comes with 60 wipes. Next, I got two Body Shop Lotions. This one is, I don't even know. I don't know what scent this is. Oh, this is pink grapefruit. That's what this one is. Pink grapefruit. It smells very citrusy and crisp. And then this one I have gotten before, and this is the honey one. And this smells exactly like honey. My favorite body shop one is the strawberry one. Though. I got a body shimmer spritz. This is in Moonlit Path. Or Moonlight Path. It's Moonlight Path, not Moonlit. It's super shimmery and smells nice and refreshing. And this will be great in the summer for like you know, your legs or decollete area just to add a little bit of shimmer. So there's a whole bunch of makeup goodies in here, but I think I'm also going to just skip through the uh, body washes and shampoos and stuff first. So there's a Vaseline uh, Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant, and this is a body cream, but it could be a hand cream too. I had the spray of this and I really like it. Then there is an Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer uh, with SPF 15. And I love Aveeno Daily Moisturizers for your face. Um, I used to use Aveeno every single day, and I'm now using my Physician's Formula for extra dry skin, but this stuff is fantastic as well. I love it. Then there is a Suave Professionals Invigorating Clean Rosemary Mint Shampoo, and this really does smell like a salon shampoo. And then this one is moisturizing, and it is almond and shea butter. So there's two of those. I should be set for shampoo for a while. Oh, and then there's this one, which is the keratin one. This is the um, keratin infusion suave professional smoothing shampoo. And this is the big bottle. It was a very heavy box that she sent. <laughs> so um, then there are two clean and clear body washes. This is the Splash Wild Berry and Guava, and it smells like a dream. These both kind of smell like fruit snacks. And I think they have glitters in them, or maybe that's just bubbles. No, I'm imagining things that's just bubbles. Um, and this one is the Boost Mango and Papaya. 
Then there is the soft soap, juicy pomegranate and mango infusion. And this also really smells like fruit snacks. Then there are two hemp's um, or hemp things. This one is cherry blossom and this one smells like cherry heaven. And this one is tropical mojito essence and this also smells amazing, nice and fruity but not overpowering. Then there is a Nivea sun-kissed radiant skin. This is medium to dark, which I prefer. Actually, I am light to fair or fair to light, but I prefer to get the medium to dark like natural tanner or not natural tanners, like I'm gonna try to say the daily gradual tanners because it just goes faster. The other ones take forever. I got the Tree Hut Shea Body Butter Brazilian Nut um, Body Butter. Here we go. And it almost smells kind of cocoa-y. Even though I know it's not cocoa, it's Brazil nut, but whatever. Then there is a Got To Be Defiant uh, Define and Shine Pomade and a Wild Harvest Hair Surf Head. Her and I were talking about um, like wearing your hair with natural texture, so she got me both of these so I can do it. So it smells like the ocean, and I'm gonna try and wear my hair a little more natural sometimes, so yeah, fun! Then there is a White Rain Kids Detangling Spray. This is in Zany Watermelon. It smells amazing! And I was using a Johnson & Johnson Kids Detangler, um, so yeah, if you need a detangler, go buy a Kids Detangler. They work really well, and they're super inexpensive. Then there is the Silkworks Professional. It's like a hair oil thing. Whole big old bottle of that. Then I have these two Garnier Fructase hair products. This one is the uh, leave-in conditioner for dry hair, which I've never seen a uh, leave-in conditioner that comes as a foam. Props to you, Garnier. That's pretty nifty. And then there is the Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-in Conditioner Cream. Also. <coughs> Also by Garnier. Oh, and here's the large stipple brush. So now on to the epic amount of makeup and nail stuff. There's a ton of stuff, and Miley, you are crazy. You went overboard. Um, so her and I were talking about all the new different e.l.f. products that are out there, and little did I know she was going to place an order based on that. I don't know. We were talking about trying new products, and she's naughty, and she was taking notes, and shame on you, but thank you so much. Uh, and one of my, like, I really want to try this was the e.l.f. Studio Prism Eyeshadows, and she chose the natural, oh, this one's called Naked. This thing is a uh, freaking amazing. I used it in my Get Ready With Me today. The pigment on these and how soft they are and how beautiful they come off on your eyelids are amazing. There are two other palettes like this. There's one that's, like, kind of pink. And then there's one that's like blue and purple. I don't want the blue and purple one. I think I want like the pink one. I freaking love this. It is so beautiful. Then she knows I love my e.l.f. HD lifting concealer. So she bought me a backup in Fair. I use it every single day without doubt. Um, then there is the e.l.f. BB cream in Fair. And she said I was going to be her test hamster, test guinea pig, whatever, to try this out because she wants to try it too. So there we go. Hopefully it matches me. I have not had the greatest luck with e.l.f. foundation-y kind of products matching me. She got me the e.l.f. Uh, pressed mineral blush and this is in the color Sweet Retreat. I also use this today. She got me some goody spin pins, which I have my spin pins right here and I love them and I treat them like gold and I'm always afraid of losing them. So thank you so much. I love spin pins. She got me a couple mascaras. I get to try the Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast, which I think I'm maybe the only person on the entire planet who has not tried this yet. And then she got me two of these Physicians Formula um, Sexy Booster Mascaras, which I really like mine, so thank you for the two backups. That should last me for a while. I got three e.l.f. Studio blushes. One of them is in Peach and Keen, which I love to say Peach and Keen. I say it all the time. Peach and Keen, beautiful peach color. And this one is ever so faintly shimmery. Then she got me Tickled Pink, which this one looks totally matte. Beautiful light pink shade. And it almost has kind of a peachy undertone as well. And then this one is Candid Coral, which I believe I bought this one for Hannah. Little Miss Artsy, Candid Coral. Uh, and this one has a sheen to it. Oh, come on. There we go. Beautiful coral blush. 
Then I got the Bronze Booster by Physician's Formula. Apparently this is the one that Leanne says uh, uses all the time. And this was in the color Light to Medium. Absolutely beautiful. And I think I only brought maybe like two or three um, bronzers with me, so thank you for the extra bronzer. She got me one of the Elf Smudge... Oh god, I'm dropping things. Elf Smudge Pots. And this one is in the color Ain't That Sweet. I used it today on my look as an eyeshadow base. It was really pretty. Even just all over the lid by itself, it came out really, really pretty. Then uh, there is the NYX Roll-On Shimmer. And this is in the color Almond. It's a very beautiful chocolatey brown color. More like milk chocolate. There is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Walking on Eggshells, which is my absolute favorite trio by them, most used. Got the Biore Self-Heating One Minute Mask, some um, blotting sheets from Diaso, and the package on these is so adorable. It's gonna be so cute for just throwing in my purse. Under Eye Sheets, also from Diaso, love them. Can't read it, it's in Japanese, but it says Face Care Sheet. There are two of these NYC Appalicious Balms. One is in Appalicious Pink and the other is in Pink Lady. And these are the ones that have the little apples in them. There is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Light Stick. One is, well it's a blendable concealer duo and this one is in the color Ultra Light. It's like a double-ended concealer pen thing. Then there is the Epic Blend Hemp Coconut Lip Balm. And also the Nivea Kiss of Color Sheer Caramel. And it smells very faintly sweet, but not super sweet. So it might just be a really pretty, like, natural nude tone on the lip. Oh god, I just gouged it. Then there are some of these uh, portable wet tissues. Also from Daiso. With awesome Japanese on the front. I absolutely love going to Daiso or, like, Asian markets, Japanese stores. Like, all of those. I love them. I'm obsessed. Then I got the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream, and this is in the color Fair. She uses this, Hannah just got this, and it actually looks amazing on Miley's skin when she wears it. Hannah, do you like it? Have you tried it yet? Hannah really likes it as well. She just gave me the thumbs up on Skype. Then there is the Clean Warm Cotton Skin Lotion thingy. Yeah, body lotion. There was another one of these. I don't know where it is right now. I got two of these. One is in a different color tube. Then there's the Su bleh, bleh, bleh. Then there's the Sumita Beauty Eyeliner, and it's in black, I assume. Little eyeliner. Here's the other tube of the clean skin. Then there is the Sephora eyeshadow. It is in the color Starry Sky. Oh God, Starry Night number seven. It is a beautiful charcoal, shimmery gray color. Nice for a sultry, smoky eye. Then there is one called by LA Splash called Heavy Metal, which is also smoky eye. It's black on one side and then like silvery on the others. And I'm not sure if the silver is just an overspray. It kind of looks like it might be. So nice, solid black color there. On to the last home stretch of it. So there are two Sally Hansen Triple Shine polishes. I'm so excited to try these. I'm an official nail polish addict. I think all three of us are. Me. Uh, Juicy Fashion 11 and Miley and um, Hannah from Little Sartsy. We're nail polish addicts um, and I haven't been able to try this formula yet so thank you so much. There is Pool Party. This is beautiful minty kind of blue color and then there is Reef Ref. This is beautiful corally pink shade. One of those two is what I'm putting on next and I'm wearing Lavendary by Lime Crime in case anyone wants to know with a Topshop holographic stripe on one finger. I got two of my Wet n Wild Mega Last polishes, one in I Need a Refreshment and the other in Candylicious. Again, beautiful mint color, beautiful pink color. I got the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Gold Roses. This is a beautiful um, rose gold color. I've never seen anything like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then there is OPI, and it is in Cajun Shrimp. I am so excited for this one. I saw this color a really long time ago and fell in love with it, but never bought it. So thank you very much. Then there is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Color, and this is in the Sugar Coated. It's a very neutral, like almost bridally kind of pink shade. And then there is the China Glaze in For Audrey. Absolutely classic, beautiful, mint greeny kind of 
shade almost um it's almost like an exact dupe for the like tiffany blue kind of color next is a sephora pie opi it's a little teeny tiny one i don't even know what color it is but it's this like really awesome gold color. Then there is the NYC top coat in Matte Me Crazy. And my sister was looking for a top coat and I actually gave her mine. Thank you very much. And the very last item is a chapstick in Velvet Cupcake. Yum! So that was an absolutely epic gift haul. Once again, completely unexpected. You didn't have to do that for me. No one has to do anything like that for me. But I genuinely and sincerely appreciate it, and I adore the friendship that I have with you. I adore the friendship that I have with Hannah and everyone that I chat with here on YouTube. So I am so, so, so grateful. So if you guys want to go and see an international makeup swap, Hannah from Little Miss Artsy here on YouTube and Miley from Juicy Fashion Eleven just sent each other packages across the pond. <laughs> Way across the pond. Across hemispheres. Uh, yeah, so they just sent each other packages, and if you want to go check out an international swap, I would suggest you go check out both of theirs. I will have the videos linked down below, so go show them some love and tell them I sent you. Anywho, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button so we can hang out some more. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. Thank you for all the sweet comments you're always leaving me on my videos. You guys are amazing. So, yeah, I hope you have a beautiful day, as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!